Hello and welcome to day nine of 30 days of Photoshop. We're in a brand new studio to bring you the new select subject tool, which will allow your subject to look amazing and edit your background. Hello and welcome back to 30 days of Photoshop. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're going to show you the brand new select subject tool, which works with cloud based processing. It is so powerful. We've got two great examples of making your subject and your background look amazing. So here we are in Photoshop with our first sample image. Now let's go ahead and click here on our background layer. The first thing that we're going to do for select subject, we can actually see it's right here in our contextual taskbar. Now, if you don't see your taskbar, simply go to window and then down here to contextual taskbar. Now this is super cool because we actually have new cloud based select subject This sends your image to the cloud It uses AI to select your subject. It's so, so powerful. So let's go ahead and make sure you have that turned on. Now we're going to go here to Photoshop 2025. We're going to go to our settings and then we're going to go to image processing. Okay. So within image processing here, you can see select subject and remove background. Make sure you have cloud selected. This is going to be highly detailed results. All right, let's go ahead and hit okay. And we're going to click on select subject right here. Fantastic. So you can see it creates a beautiful selection of our subject. Now, in this case, what I want to do is make my subject a little bit brighter. And because she's already selected, all I have to do is use an adjustment layer like levels or curves or brightness and contrast to make her a little bit brighter. So let's go ahead and grab a curves adjustment layer. Now we're going to move right over here to our adjustment panel. If you don't see your adjustment panel, simply go to window and then down here to adjustments. Make sure that's open. Now I'm going to go ahead and click here on curves. When I do, you're going to notice that my selection will automatically load into the layer mask of this curves adjustment layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. We can see our selection now is loaded into the layer mask of our curves adjustment layer. So to go ahead and adjust our curves adjustment layer, we're going to go to our properties panel and then simply click here right in the middle and drag this up which is going to make our subject a little bit brighter. Now you can go ahead and make your shadows a little bit brighter, just like this. And if your highlights are a little bit too bright, you can protect them by bringing them right back down. Look at that already. We're looking so good. Let's go to our layers and you can see I can turn this off and on. And just like that, our subject looks amazing. Now I want to do one more thing with this image and that's actually bring a little bit of a flare for our sunset. So to do that, we're going to use a levels adjustment layer. Okay. So going back to adjustments, we're going to go here to levels. Now within our levels, you're going to have controls for RGB, which is going to adjust red, green, and blue. Basically that's going to be your light and dark. Now we can go to each individual color channel and adjust these as well. So we're going to go to our red channel. Now here in our output levels, I'm going to click and drag here and go from the left to the right. You're going to see it's going to put some reds into our shadows. There we go. That looks really good. Now here we're going to go to our green channel and pull this and it's going to put a little bit of green in our shadows. And right about there we have like, looks like a beautiful sunset lighting or sunrise. I can't tell. Now we're going to go back to layers and you can see here in this levels adjustment, it's kind of just visible everywhere. So we're going to go to the layer mask here and we're going to use our gradient tool. So let's go ahead and grab our gradient tool. We're going to choose up here. It says gradient. We're going to make sure this one is in our basics folder. We're going to choose black to white and we're going to choose our radial gradient. And I'm going to simply click and drag out. And here you go. We can see we have this really beautiful sun flare just like that. I can turn this off and on at any time. And I can even go and just double click here, go to my red channel again, and I can enhance that. Maybe I want a little bit more flare, go to my green channel again and get a little bit more. There we go. Look how beautiful that looks. So two simple adjustment layers. We're able to turn them off and back on. We added our subject a little bit brighter and this little flare just kind of gives the image a little bit of a beautiful pop. Now in our second example, we're going to be using select subject, but we're actually going to be inverting the selection and using it to enhance our background. So let's go here to select subject O2. By the way, you can download both of these sample images and follow along totally free. Just click on the link right down below. So we're going to start again by going here to select subject and you're going to see in just a second, our subject has a beautiful selection around them. Now I want to go ahead and make my subject just a little bit brighter here as well, but just a little underexposed. So we're going to go to adjustments. Now, previously we went to curves, 
So you can use curves, you can use levels, you can use exposure, you can use brightness and contrast. Any one of these will help you make your subject brighter or darker. Let's go to brightness and contrast. This one's nice and easy to use. You just have two sliders. We're gonna go ahead and bring up our brightness. There we go. And lower our contrast just a little bit. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and just turn that off and on. You can see our subject looks really good. You can double click here at any time and simply make any changes that you want. Fantastic. But what I really want to focus in here, yep, yeah, we made our subject a little bit brighter, is our background. I want to add a beautiful gradient to this background. So what we're going to do is use select subject again and then inverse our selection so we can use this on the background. Let's go ahead and click here on our background layer. We're going to go to select subject one more time. There we go. Now what I want to do is add a gradient to the background. So what we're going to do is inverse our selection. You can click right here to invert your selection and now you can see it's actually selecting the background. So let's go ahead and grab our gradient tool here. We're going to choose gradient up here at the top. I'm going to choose in our basics. We're going to go to the foreground to transparent gradient right there and then our foreground color. Let's go ahead and click there and then I want to choose a color, you know, maybe just like a bright red, something like that. Maybe we'll just kind of like pull this towards orange. There we go. That's looking good. So now it's going to be a gradient. It's going to be orange to transparent and we're going to have it be this color right here or this <laughs> radio gradient. Now I'm going to click and drag out just like this. Sometimes this will appear the opposite of what you want. Just make sure you check this where it says reverse. Go ahead and check there or you can see this is the reverse icon in your contextual taskbar. So I'm able to click and drag this gradient out and now we have this beautiful glow of light right behind our subject. It just makes the whole image look a lot more like edited and beautiful and finalized in just two simple layers. So we can see, let's turn them both off here. This first layer, we just made our subject a little bit brighter and then the second layer with an inverted layer mask here we're making our background a lot more interesting. So you can see just how powerful select subject is. Anytime you need to make adjustments to your subject or your background, this is the perfect tool for the job. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Don't forget you can download all of these sample assets. You can follow along with 30 days of Photoshop totally free. Just click on the link right down below. And tomorrow we're going over one of my favorite tools in Photoshop, Adobe Camera Raw. Thanks again and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.